feel it mm, I'm the world's greatest Hi guys, it's Caitlin and welcome back to Caitlin and the Stuff of Game Now and today I am going to be doing a back transfer tutorial on the trampoline Now, you don't have to do this on the trampoline I just can't do it on the floor yet So, let's get started So here are the skills you should have for this video, either one what you're learning on, so if you're learning on floor then have them on floor, if you're learning on trampoline have them on trampoline, it's a back court over. back limber but this is optional it just makes it easier I'm basically a back limber that you don't jump into so if you have a back limber it's much easier to jump into a back hand swing they should be nice and solid and you can try and get a rebound as well to make a back lift a back handsome even easier. So once you have a solid back limber and a solid back core figure, then you can think about the approach. So the approach is you put your arms straight up, you bend down with your chest up in a seat position and jump up. Make sure you're not too tight over when you go down like this because this makes you lose power. So you want to be nice and straight and then swing your arms up against the wall and take one small step forward. And then you want to just put your arms up and do the swing approach. That's a bit far forward. Do a really tight Put your arms up, do the swing approach, make sure your back is in and then jump. So all together, it looks like this. But that one, my back wasn't straight enough. So try and work on getting your back straight. Okay, so once you've learned the approach, there's part in where you go back into the actual back handspring and that's basically like your back limber but you're just jumping so if you have a really good back limber then you should be fine to go back if you don't have a solid back limber and your arms are not locking into place in your back limber then try hand pump pops which are these because it keeps your arms locked. Go against something and push your hands and make sure they stay locked. So if you went against the ground, make sure they are like bouncing off and staying locked out. Because in the whole back handspring, apart from when you do your approach, then your arms stay by your hips the whole time. So you don't want your head going back first. That's one of the main reasons why people are scared to do a back handspring because they're scared they're going to land on their head. If you keep your arms with your head, then you are not going to hurt yourself. If they are bending like this, then you need to focus on building up your arm strength. Here are a few exercises you can do to build up your arm strength. Push up. Stand 
support, like I said. They're good for them. Even hands and walking. Just make sure you're comfortable on your hands. Some testers can help too. So what they are is where you do a handstand and you bend and twist your arms in a handstand. They can help with your arm strength. I can barely do them on the floor. So that's what they are. And then keeping your hollow shape and remembering when you so you should be like that. What you're gonna do is you're gonna want to bounce into that. You want to do the same thing, but just go back into it. So this is a good way because it's more bouncy and you slant your foot, you learn how to do it and if your arms give in then you won't hurt yourself. And you're going to go up into the handstand and then you're going to knock your legs down. You want to push your hips forward the way that your hands are going and stack your feet down. Okay, we're okay. Do a back walk over and then snap your legs down. Do that here and you're getting a high rebound from it. Then you should be good to try your back hand too if all of the other stuff are good. So first is the approach. What you want to do is you want to swing your arms back while keeping your chest up and bending your legs. Remember to keep your chest up so that it gives you the maximum power. Next is your hollow shape through the air and then you're going to put your hands down and snap your feet down at the end. Remembering a really big rebound. Also remember to keep your arms locked in the middle of your back handspring. If you land a back handspring, you can land loads of cool other stuff, like a back handspring set out. Bye guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. And I help, hope I helped you get your back handspring on either floor or trampoline, whatever you were trying it on. Just remember that these tips do work and it takes time. And I still haven't got it on floor. Keep having mental blocks. Block. You just need to remember if you, your hands are locked, if your arms are locked, then you're not going to fall on your face or hurt yourself. And if your arms stay by your ears the whole time, you are not going to hurt yourself. So, bye!